In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mirror text here in Canva. Now, unfortunately, Canva doesn't have a feature where we can just click and it mirrors or flips text. So if we click on here, then come up to this toolbar up the top, we can see there's nowhere to actually flip this around and mirror the text. But there is a little workaround. Now, let me just go ahead and duplicate this like so. Let's get rid of this Canva up the top because the only way that we can actually do this is by downloading this as a PNG, then re-uploading it here in Canva. So what we want to do is come to Share. Then we're going to come to Download. Then we're going to go on to PNG or JPEG. For this example, we're going to use PNG because I just remembered you can't actually have a transparent background of a JPEG, only a PNG. So we're going to click on that. We're going to leave the size exactly the same, but then we want to use a Canva Pro feature, and that's a transparent background. So now if we tick this, then click on download, let's do page two, click on done, click download. We're then going to have the PNG transparent version of this text just here. Now, quick side note, if you want to try out a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link. So if you decide to purchase after the 30 days, then I will make a small commission. Now, let's click on download. Then we're going to come over to my folder over here. We're going to take this and we're going to drag that here into the folder. Now, right off the bat, we can see that this isn't actually transparent. Now, usually, if you have one color on the background, it will download as a transparent. But I've only just realized if you have some type of gradient on the back, then it's not going to do that. So what we're going to do is actually delete the background. Then we can go to Download, Transparent, PNG, Page 2, click Download. Now, once that's downloaded, we can drag that back into the file or into the folder. We can see that this is transparent. So now, if we go back to our original design, if we move this up a little bit, then if we add that PNG to the page, we can just edit this ever so slightly. So it's round about the same. So let's bring in those edges like this, like that. And now, if we drag that down to the bottom, let's put that round about there. If we click on this image, because remember, this is now an image. We now have the option up here to flip this around. So we can flip it horizontal and vertical. Now what we want to do is just mirror the text. So let's put this back like that. Let's now flip this around vertically. And now we actually have our mirrored text. So if we actually make this a little bit bigger, like so to round about there, let's move that up. And there we go. We now have our mirrored text. Now, this doesn't quite look right because we have two lines of text. So what we can do is just do a mirrored text with one line. So if we go ahead and delete this, let's take away this in Canva. Let's just have how to mirror text. Let's make this one line like so. Let's make this a little bit smaller like this as well. Let's duplicate this page. Let's delete the Canva. Let's delete this background like that. Let's go to Share. Let's go to Download. Transparent Background. We're going to do Page 2. We're going to click Done. Click Download. We're now just going to take that again, put it back into the folder in Canva, go onto our original design, click Mirror Text. We're just going to crop this ever so slightly, like so. Then we're just going to make this bigger as well. So it's roughly the same size as the original text. So let's just make that like so. Let's make that bigger. And now if we put that closer and come to the flip option, flip this vertically, we now have that mirrored text. So that's just how easy it is to mirror text here in Canva. Now for more bite-sized Canva tutorials, click right here and watch this playlist.